আমার অডিবল তো অলক ইউ স্যার ওই তো আমার ল্যাপটপে ভেঙে গেল জাস্ট দুই মিনিট ओके चलो लेट अस स्टार्ट कैन यू सी माय स्क्रीन कैन यू सी माय स्क्रीन सो इन द लास्ट क्लास व्हाई डिड यू स्टॉप कैन एनीवन से मी yes sir so it was a brief introduction right in the last class yes or no this is from anyone Am I not able? Sir, it's audible. We can hear it. My, my voice is not cracking now. Is my voice cracking? Yes, sir. Is my voice for a sir? It's breaking, sir. Ah, ah, what? What did you say? Crack. Sir, it's not breaking. Crack or what? Is my voice? No sir no sir okay 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 then okay so now let us discuss uh, first of all in the last class i think so you discussed regarding concept of spread ha huh? so now we will go to the next part if you can see what is spread actually so suppose can you see the screen I hope all of you can see the screen. I hope all of you can see the screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what is stress actually? Suppose let us consider a rectangular bar of some cross section, subject to some flow force. Okay, now this is the force of it. And this is the what cross-sectional area. So now stress means what? Now you can assume that let us imagine that some rect same rectangular bar is assumed to be cut into two halves at section x x. Now that the each portion of the rectangular bar is in equilibrium about the section section of load p and the internal forces acting on the section x x is equal to. Now look. The rectangular bar is what cut in this section because of the implementation of this force P. Now, you just saw this is the surface area that we have to consider. This is the surface area that we have to consider, right? So now, if you have to consider this surface area, then the stress, ah, huh, the stress is what defined as the force. The stress is denoted by what sigma. Sigma is equal to what? P by A. P by A means P is the force, A is the cross-sectional area. Fine? Any doubt? Any doubt? No, sir. Okay. P is the force, A is the cross-sectional area. So now, what will happen is, we are assuming here that the total 
force of the total load that is carried by the rectangular bar. This is uniformly distributed over the section. That is why we can just, that means the force. This force P, though we are showing it from a single point here, but this thing is what assumed to be acting uniformly like this. Is it okay? Is it clear? So, that is why we derive this expression. Okay. Now, now, if the force carried by a component is not uniformly distributed over its cross section, then we must consider a small area, right? That means the small area should be what dA. And which carries a small load dP. dP is the load of the total force Q. Then the definition of stress is delta F, sigma equal delta F by delta A. Why delta F by delta A? Because we are considering a very small amount of the force. Nah? That is why delta F by delta A. Now, this stress sigma, if you are considering a very small area, then you all know limit delta A tends to 0, del F by del A. So delta A tends to 0 means what? The area is extremely small. That is why this one. That is why this del component has come because of this limit. Okay. Now, the basic unit of stresses in SI units are Newton per meter square or Pascal. Just remember this thing. This is a very important thing. The basic unit of stress. Huh? Now, the basic unit of stress is in SI unit, what? Newton per meter square or Pascals. Means one, pas one Newton per meter square equal to one Pascal. Is it clear? Is it clear, everyone? Just keep on responding. Yes, sir, Is it clear? Yes, okay. Just keep on responding when I ask you something. Hmm. So this is what the stress is. Now, look, for smaller amount of stresses, it is okay. Like uh, we are getting it around, uh, we are getting it like in this manner. Huh? Like, uh, what do you call it? Pascals huh? in that unit. But for larger unit, if you can see the screen, for larger units, what happens? We will be having need to use what? We will be required to use uh, a more larger value, no? yes or no? Yes or no? That means we will be having what? Mega Pascal, hmm. then Giga Pascal, okay? Then Kilo Pascal. Now this Mega Pascal is MPA, okay? Mega Pascal. That means 10 to the power 6. Just remember one thing, never forget. 10 to the power 6 Pascal means Mega, okay? Then you are having what? Giga. Giga is 10 to the power 9, okay? Then you are having what? Kilo, kilo Pascal is 10 to the power 3. Now, this Mega Pascal, this Mega Pascal is equivalent to what? Newton per mm square. If you can see here, Newton per mm square means what? Mega Pascal. Just remember, never forget, Newton per mm square or Mega Pascal is same. Fine. Now, if you go to the next one, hmm. types of stresses. What are the different types of stresses? The different types of stresses are normal stress. There are two, two basic types of stresses that exist. Okay. The basic type of stresses that exist is normal stress and shared stress. 
सर बोलो बोलो सर सर लोबी पे एक ओ स्टूडेंट रुक रहा है सर अब ठीक है अभी ठीक है अभी ठीक है यस सर अगर रुकेगा तो ऐसे बोल देना आप लोग मुझे ये नहीं होगा ना मुझे पता नहीं चलेगा ना जी सर हाँ और तुम लोग का दोस्त लोग को बोल देना वो पास में बात एंट्री मत कर मतलब पास में इसके अंदर एंट्री करने को अभी सब लोग एंट्री कर रहे हैं जी सर types of species what are the different types of species there are only two basic type of species that is that is normal species and sea species right now there are certain other species now this look other species that are similar to this basic species are a combination of these that means a normal or sea these are the two main species now Apart from these, if you see bending stress, if you hear this term, then this is a combination. What? What? This is a combination of tensile, compressive, and shear stress. Okay. Now tensile and compressive part comes under what? Normal. And shear is always there. Now torsion stress is a shearing stress. So these are all combinations. Okay. Now let us define one thing: normal stress. The normal stress is defined as what force per unit area. That means what if the stresses are coming in the normal direction to the area, in the normal direction to the area, then what you call is it is called as normal. Okay. Now just pay attention. The stress is forced by an area. If the stresses are normal to the area concerned, then these are termed as what normal stresses. The normal stresses are generally denoted by Greek area S. Now look, or we can say sigma. Greek letter S means what? We can say it as sigma. Fine. Now these are normal stresses. So What is basically normal stress? Now look, this is the area. If you can see here, this is the area in this figure, right? Now if this is the area, if this is the area, hmm, then this is force per unit area stress, right? So this is the stress. So this is coming perpendicular to the area. So if this is coming perpendicular to the area, then we'll call it what? 
normal stress. Okay. Your voice is not clear. My voice is not clear. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's not clear. Yes, sir. It's breaking. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute then. Network is not good. Wait, wait. Good evening. Is it breaking now also? Is it breaking now also? Is it breaking now also? Still it's not clear. Still it's not clear. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if it is not clear, then let me know. Huh? Okay. Uh, is it clear now? I think so. It is clear now. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me huh, again if it is not clear. Okay. Now listen. Okay, so where did you stop? Yeah, normal stress. So did you understand the term normal stress? Sorry again. It's very... ah, again, I am lagging. Am I lagging again? No, sir. No, no. Yes. What? Tell me if I am lagging. Explain yes. again, sir. Uh huh. What do you say? You say my voice break or break? Am I lagging now also? No sir, not clear. Yeah. Sir, it's becoming worse. It's becoming worse. Huh? So normal stress, uh, normal stress, do you understand or shall I need to explain it again? Normal stress, did you understand or shall I need to explain it again? Hello? 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 Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So did you, did you understand normal, share, uh, normal stress and uh, normal stress or do I need to explain it again? So it would be better if you explain again. Okay, fine. I'll explain it again. Fine, fine. I'll, I'll explain it again. So what is normal stress actually? Now look, we have defined shares Stress as force point area, right? Now, stress means what? Force per unit area. Now, if the stress is force per unit area, then 
this force that is acting perpendicular to this area suppose this is the area right now the force is what just acting in this direction now this is perpendicular to this area right or not yes or no yes sir so if this is acting perpendicular to the area then what will you say that this is normal stress okay and this is also known as unixal state of stress because stresses act in only one direction why unixal because the stresses is acting in only one direction be it in this direction be it in this direction okay now but in practical cases this is not relevant because in practical cases we have so many stresses that are acting in so many directions fine So this is actually a practical state. Now, this is what this is a biaxial state. Biaxial means what? These are acting in two directions: in this direction, in this direction, okay, in this direction, and in this. That means what? In biaxial, it is only x and what? Y axis. Got it? But in triaxial, in triaxial state of stress, this is triaxial state of stress. It will be acting in what? X, then you come Y, then you go to Z. Huh? This three axis, no? Is it clear now? Biaxial and triaxial state of stress? Yes, is sir. Clear? Yes, sir. It's clear. Okay. I think so. My boss is clear. And CR, please inform your batchmates that not to join the classroom after five minutes. Okay? Please ask them to join at the given time. Okay, sir. Then tensile or compressive stresses. So, what is tensile and what is compressive? If you see the figure, the stresses can either be what compressive or tensile. Now in tensile stress, what will happen? Suppose this is the box. You are pulling it. If you are pulling it in both the directions, then it is what tensile. That means what you are giving tension. Similarly, in compressive. Compressive means what you are compressing it, or you are just pressing it towards inwards. So this is known as tensile and compressive stress. Fine. Now we'll go. Well, it is it possible that uh, tensile stress can be used in the. Uh -huh. It is possible what? X Y Z. Compressive. Is it possible that the tensile ex, uh, compressive stress can be used in the you know tri direction? stress like x y obviously obviously look here this one is what this is in this direction now they go you are pulling it from this side from this side right so this is what tensile now if you are pushing it from this side from this side then it becomes what compressive this is t understood understood yes yeah, sir Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Good. You should ask questions. Then you go to the next bearing. Bearing means what? It's simple. When an object presses against each other, huh? like object, you say object for press card, right? Then it is called bearing stress. Okay? Look, this is an example of bearing stress. So this is the object, this is the soil surface. Now this object is pressing the soil at this point, right? That means what? The bearing stress will be exerted here at this point. Clear? Now,
will go to shared space. The previous part is it clear? Yes, sir. दो मिनट रुको आई एम शोइंग यू अ वीडियो टू क्लियर योर कॉन्सेप्ट्स Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, in physics, we could say that the cake experiences stress. Usually, when we cut a cake. We hold the knife straight and apply the force perpendicular to the surface area. So, can you guess what type of stress this is? It is normal stress as the force is acting perpendicular to this area. But what about these cross-sectional areas of the cake? The area on top is not the only area that experiences stress. As we pierce the knife in, this cross-sectional area experiences stress too. It doesn't look too obvious, but it does experience stress. We can also see that the force is not perpendicular to this area. It acts parallel to it as we are pushing the knife straight down. If the force acts parallel to the surface, it exerts shear stress. This stress tries to push the two surfaces away from each other, and hence results in plastic deformation. So this is the basic difference between normal stress and shear stress. Normal stress is where the force is acting perpendicular to the area of contact, while shear stress is the force that acts parallel to the area. Let's take another example which explains shear stress better. Here's a beam and assume that it's fixed at its base. If we apply normal force to this cross-sectional area, then we know that the stress experienced by the beam will be normal stress which is simply given by f over a where f is the applied force and a is this cross sectional area this will result in a normal strain in the beam which is given by delta l over l where delta l is the change in length and l is the original length now suppose that we apply a force in this direction parallel to area a Again, the beam will experience some stress, but this time it will be a shear stress. The equation or formula for shear stress is the same as that of normal stress. Stress is simply the applied force per unit area, whether it's acting perpendicular or parallel to the area. That your video is not moving. The beam by shear force. What? 
here the deformation will be something like this. The I'm object not moving is from here, video is. Yeah, well, huh? Video sir, chal rahi ne. Just the way se. Aawaz aa raha hai. To main aur sun raha hu. Ah sir. Nahi chal raha. Mera liye pata nahi alag ke liye chal raha ki nahi. What about others? Is it going on? Sir, not clear. And it's not moving the video. It's not very clear, sir. The audio is very bad. Yes. Is it? Okay, now I'll download it and show it to you. Actually, this is the basic concept. Let me try it once more. आपका सर आवाज भी अभी क्लियर नहीं हो रहा है अभी नहीं हो रहा है आवाज आपका हाँ क्लियर नहीं हो रहा है इट्स ब्रेकिंग सुनो अभी भी ब्रेकिंग हो रहा है या या सर इट्स ब्रेकिंग ओहो वेट 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 ये नेटवर्क का बहुत प्रॉब्लम चल रहा है अभी कैसा है क्रैक है सर क्रैक हाँ या ना इट्स अभी अभी भी क्रैक है ना इट्स फाइन ओके जस्ट सी इफ इट इस क्रैकिंग अगेन द वीडियो आउट फॉर मी ओके ओके सर इफ इन फिजिक्स व्हाट रियली हैपेंस व्हेन वी कैच अ केक यूजिंग अ नाइफ इन फिजिक्स we could say that the cake experiences stress usually when we cut a cake we hold the knife straight and apply the force perpendicular to the surface area so can you guess what type of stress this is it is normal stress as the force is acting perpendicular to this area but what about these cross sectional areas of the cake the area on top is not the only area that experiences stress As we pierce the knife in, this cross-sectional area experiences stress too. It doesn't look too obvious, but it does experience stress. We can also see that the force is not perpendicular to this area; it acts parallel to it as we are pushing the knife straight down. If the force acts parallel to the surface, it exerts shear stress. This stress tries to push the two surfaces away from each other. and hence results in plastic deformation so this is the basic difference between normal stress and shear stress normal stress is where the force is acting perpendicular to the area of contact while shear stress is the force that acts parallel to the area let's take another example which explains shear stress better here's a beam and assume that it's fixed at its base If we apply normal force to this cross-sectional area, then we know that the stress experienced by the beam will be normal stress, which is simply given by F over A, where F is the applied force and A is this cross-sectional area. This will result in a normal strain in the beam, which is given by delta L over L, where delta L is the change in length and L is the original length. Now suppose that we apply a force in this direction parallel to area A again the beam will experience some stress but this time it will be a shear stress the equation or formula for shear stress is the same as that of normal stress stress is simply the applied force per unit area whether it's acting perpendicular or parallel to the area what about the deformation in the beam by shear force Here the deformation will be something like this. The object is stretched to some extent. Note that the beam is fixed to the base, so this cross-sectional surface will remain where it is, whereas the cross sections above it will all get displaced to the right by increasing amounts. Now look at the maximum displacement here. 
Let's call it delta x. We know that this length is L. It's perpendicular to this. Also notice that there's an angle formed here. We can call it theta. With this information in place, let us define what shear strain is. Shear strain is simply equal to tangent of theta. Yes, shear strain is simply the tangent of this angle. But what is tan theta? We know that it's the opposite side over the adjacent side. Here, the length of the opposite side of theta is delta x and length of adjacent side is L. So it's equal to delta x over L. So that's how shear strain is defined. Length of the deformation at its maximum over this perpendicular length. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. It's, uh... I'll give you the link in this channel, yeah? You just mark this link. This is just the basic, okay? So that you can, your concept is cleared. Did you understand today's class? Is it okay for all of you? Apart from these network issues? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so if you have any doubt, you just ask me, okay? In the next class, you just ask me. Uh, sir, in this. It is in the ERP only, that notes. Did you see the notes? Uh, no, sir. Just check it out. If you don't find it, then tell me. You got yes, it, sir. in portal, you'll get the notes, no? Okay. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. It is in the portal itself. Sir, Bolo. Hello. Uh, sir, uh, can you solve the problem of the uh, behavioral management, sir? I have already talked Which about that, but sir, uh, Mame is also not sure about that. Huh? Which subject? Uh, behavioral management. Management? How can I solve management problems? Management. Sir? I am an engineer, how can I solve management problems? No, 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 actually, hai, me, no, according, uh, according to her routine, it's not, you know, uh, uh, clarify for. 